Hello, Gemini. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoincha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Mershinsky. So some of you may have been in a relationship. This could have been in the past. It could be current. Others of you, it could be a situationship. And for a small portion of you, this could be someone who you have connected very energetically with. And you know there's something there, but no one's really speaking up. If you do not know who this person is, most likely this reading will not resonate with you. This is for those of you who already have somebody in mind. And sometimes if you don't, usually I've seen this is a person from your past who is thinking about you. That is for those of you that don't have anyone in mind. If you do, then this is your person of interest. All right, a lot is coming out here. Hmm. Change, however. You need a change and change is coming. That's really good. All right, you have an extra card that just popped up. Aha, growth, very good. My method of reading is just slightly different. For those of you who are new, you may not know. I do have the ability of channeling through my higher intuitive self. I'm usually in that state. And I do not channel through any spirit guides. I never have, and I have certain reasons for that. At the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel to provide you with some advice based on what has come out today. First card is the strongest. We have your grief. A whole lot of grief. Sensuality, change, creativity, wisdom, energy, fear, doubt, growth, and opening. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Gemini, I have hurt you, and I know it. The pain and the suffering that I've caused you, I can't take that back. I can't change the past, change the things that I've done, the way I've been, the way I've behaved. Now, I am grieving. I feel as though I've lost you. Lost you forever. In my heart, I feel regret for the things that I have said and done and for the things that I never said that I should have. The things that I never did that I should have done. I feel remorse, and I feel guilty. These feelings and emotions now have me in this world of sadness and melancholy. Because I've hurt you, and I am breaking away on the inside into a thousand pieces. I can't find myself again. I've lost who I am. And I grieve. I mourn the loss of you because I've lost someone so wonderful, so beautiful, so perfect for me. I took you for granted. I did not value you when I had the chance. 
But now when I am in this mindset of losing you, now you are valuable to me. And now I fear the loss of you. How I feel is there's a part of me that knows that I can be with you the way that you want me to. But the things that I have said, the things that I've done, the way I've behaved, I have acted and done the things in the opposite kind of way. I feel as though I live in this world of darkness. And I realize now that you were only that one shining light that was actually genuine, that was there for me. And I never really appreciated that that light was there. And now that light is fading. And now I'm afraid. Because now I feel like I've lost you forever and my world is going to turn into darkness. And if there's darkness, there's no direction. In you, I have found someone who makes me feel vibrant, alive, youthful, sexy. You are very sensual. You're tantalizing, your personality, your charm, your charisma, your talents. Everything about you is very sensual. And I am highly, highly attracted to you. Extremely. Your hair your skin, your lips. The way you walk and the way you touch things. I miss your touch. I want your touch. For me, things have been the same. Repeated. Ongoing. I feel that it's time for these things to change now. Change can only come swiftly, not slowly. In my heart and my mind now, I know that change is needed in this connection. Once this change has been made, I feel that moving forward won't be so difficult. There's a part of me that wants to change and create something with you. A web of love I would love to weave where you would be the center of my world. And I would take care of you, hold you close. You are so important. But if things get harsh, if the weather it gets really bad. Will that web of love just break? Will it fall? It needs to be strong. We need to be stronger. Right now, the pain and the suffering that I've put you through, plus what I feel now, has made me more wiser. I am no longer the same person that I used to be. I look at things different. I feel different. I see things in a whole different way. A long time ago, my viewpoint was very warped. But times have changed. And now I see you in different light. I have learned from my mistakes. I have learned from my lessons. And I want to make a change because I am no longer the same person you once knew me as. I am different. And there's a part of me now that also feels spiritually connected to you. These things that I feel on the inside, they are intense. It's beautiful. 
I feel that so many things you and I have gone through. There's a part of us that has become one. In the spiritual world, in that realm, maybe it is. You have this ability of making my chakra centers come to life. Everything about you. And I feel vibrant. And I feel sensual. There's this sense of ecstasy. But I'm also afraid of change. Because it'll be new to me. It'll be different. And what is different scares me. There's a part of me that fears this change. This fear comes from being nervous. These insecurities that exist inside of me. Will I be able to do that? Will I be able to make it through? Do I want these changes to occur? Yes, I do. Do I have the willpower and the courage to do it? No, I don't. Not right now, at least. Right now, I feel nervous. I feel unworthy. I feel worthless. I feel insecure. A lack of confidence. A lack of self-esteem. I feel so down that I don't feel anything can become good out of this connection. That is why I doubt that this connection might even work out. But I do have hope. And that hope is a little seed that I want to grow. I want us to grow organically, get to know each other. I want to know the real you. What were you like when you were very young? What are your fears, your ambitions, your goals? What are your plans far into the future, long after you retire? Those are the questions now that I want to know. You're not just an object. You are a person. And I want to know the real you. I also feel that a lot has gone unsaid. A lot of secrets have been buried deep down on the inside. And I feel it's time to open up. There is a part of me that truly wants to open up to you and tell you how I feel. The things that I've hidden, trauma that I've gone through, emotional issues that I hide. Maybe you'll realize why I do the things that I do. If I was to open up to you, maybe you'll realize that. For now, I am grieving. And I feel guilt, remorse, regret, sadness, and melancholy. I want to move on. And I will move on. But this is all going to take time. Because now I am wiser. I am no longer the same person that you once knew. All right. Gemini. And that was very, very deep. What's going on? It does appear your person of interest has become a bit wiser. They knew they know a few more things now in life. And the problem is is that they're still feeling very nervous because of because of what they've done. So they know what they have to do, they just don't know how to do it yet. And a part of them feels that they really want to get to know you more because in the past, it seems that things were not so smooth. They were very rushed. You maybe have gone into this connection. It may have been a very sudden kind of connection. A lot of intense energy, sensual energy here. And so you guys just kind of clicked immediately 
first date, second or third, you're just, you know, doing your thing. <laughs> I could say a naughty word, but I guess I'm not going to say it. And um, that's what happened here for some of you. And that is why you have the growth card. This person now wants to reset and go back and let's start again. But now they want to do it the proper way, the traditional way. Let's get to know each other. Let's be friends. And then what comes from there, that's natural. This person wants to restart and they want to have this growth with you. They want to get to know you more. The only reason they're doing this now, Gemini, it's because of the wisdom card, because they've had this time to think. And this usually comes just after the hermit card. So, and the hermit card comes after this one, actually. So there's this, there's hermit, and then usually there's wisdom. This is good. This is progress. All right, let's have a look at another at another deck. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. Hmm. So this should help us see what is it that happened in the first place in this connection that made things go downhill. So things may have been very sweet. They may have been progressing, but then boom, what happened? Things changed and they happened very quite suddenly. And this is for those of you that may have had a lack of closure. You may feel that in this connection, there has been this sense of unfairness and this person ghosted you. It could also be that you have just not communicated as much. The text messages or messages are quite less. And it makes you wonder, where are we in this connection? Are we together or are we not? What's going on? Why did they ignore me? So this is for those of you that may be going through that. And this is um, a deck that I read in the reverse. Also, this deck is, it's those things that happened in the past. The first deck that I just read, that is the current. So we have here Triumph and Queen of Staffs. Let's have a look at Triumph. Here, it talks about, aha, fear of expansion. So you remember you just had the fear card. So the fear card also talks about the fear of expansion. So the fear of wanting to move forward. Remember, I had the change card on top of the fear card. There was change, there was fear. So this person was afraid of what was different, afraid of expansion, afraid of getting into something that they don't know. So there's a lot of hesitation here in this connection. And it talks about feeling very pessimistic. This is how this person was. This was their mindset back then. Even if they were uncertain of how the future would have manifested, there was still going to be a hopeful period up ahead, but they didn't even think that that would happen. Why? Because they were so pessimistic, because they had this fear of expansion. And unfortunately, Gemini, with the first set of cards that you had, you know, this goes very well, but unfortunately, it also shows here that they were like that then, and they're still like that now. So that part hasn't changed, but you literally had the change card, which indicates, I mean, you can't get any more forward than that, right? You need change and you got the change card. So there is going to be a change in the coming future. We have here also the queen of staves. This talks about how this person was waiting too long to use their forces and not really showing the world their strengths. At some point in time, they started to feel very powerless because they felt that there was a lack of wit and wisdom that they had, and they were not really feeling very enthusiastic or taking action because they felt that there was a lack of support that they had in their life. Okay, so... You know how sometimes people just feel that 
and it's not right to feel this way, but people do feel the way they feel. You feel that you're not good enough. You feel that I can't do this and I can't do this. And I don't have this and I don't have that. I don't have wit and wisdom. Um, I'm not mature. I don't know how to express myself. And therefore, I'm just not going to do anything. Unfortunately, these type of feelings and emotions occurred in this person. And that is also why they did not move forward in this connection the way that you would have expected them to. You may have been the confident one in this connection. They were not confident. That's what happened here. They were not confident and they did not feel that they had what it takes to be in a long-term committed connection because they had a lack of wit and wisdom. Remember, you got the wisdom card, didn't you? They lacked wisdom then, but now you have wisdom. You had wisdom right there, right? So that's good. Excellent. There are changes here, Gemini, I'm seeing, but it's uh, slow. Even if it's slow, there's still some progress, which is good. All right, let's have a look. Hmm. We have here the Nine of Wands. Let's have a look. Nine of Wands here, it talks about how this person knows that they have some boundaries. They got to break some boundaries down, build some up. Okay, these cards I look at to see any actions, any intentions, any plans your person of interest has towards you in the coming future. So we have here the Nine of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands. We haven't gotten to the Ten yet. So this person already knows that they are bogged down, they are weighed down by burdens, restrictions, constraints, responsibilities, tasks, all these type of things, their life circumstances, I'm getting the word circumstances, they have this in their life and it's overwhelming and they know that it's only going to get worse. And so what they want to do is take a step back, break down some boundaries, take away some of these responsibilities, delegate their tasks creating a better balance in their life, knowing, do I need this? Can I live without this? Can I do this without compromising that? That is what this person is trying to do. And the good thing about this is that at some point in time, they won't be so overwhelmed and their energy won't be so scattered. Because when their energy is scattered, it's not focused on you. So once they decide to kind of streamline a few of these things that they got going on here, they will be able to focus on you because they will not be so overwhelmed when it comes to the Ten of Wands. They won't be that overwhelmed. You will be part of that instead of not even being involved in it. Here we also have a little bit of stubbornness and the belief system comes into play here, Four of Pentacles. This person holds on to their beliefs. This could be customs, ritual, religion, certain things that they feel that are in their society. It's difficult for them to change. Everybody is from somewhere. Everybody has a different history. Their own history, their parents' history, their grandparents' history, right? And those things trickle down into our lives, our personalities. That's who we are. That's how we become what we are. If your person of interest has a certain belief or they think of certain things in a certain way, and you think it's wrong, it could actually morally be wrong, ethically be wrong. But in that person's point of view, they're right. So just keep in mind, you're dealing with somebody that thinks quite differently than you. There's a little bit of ego and pride here. But they really are dedicated to what they believe in. So that's going to be a little difficult. They're a little stubborn here. and They're not letting go of a certain issue, a certain topic, a certain situation. They're not letting go of this. It's almost as if there, there is definitely, I see ego here. There is ego, but it's also because it's their identity. That's what I'm seeing here. They do have this desire of wanting to move forward with you, but then they also know that they're going to have to change themselves. Here we also have the Ace of Pentacles a very practical, practical card to have. This person does, and they are going to, Gemini, reach out to you with a solid offer. 
This is a solid, tangible offer that includes giving you an offer. This could be literally investing together, moving in together, or doing something that's more solid. And then we also have here the three of pentacles. For a small portion of you, you might be working with this person. It could be current. It could have been in the past. Or you could be associated to them through somebody else. If that is the case, this person is completely falling in love with you. If that's not the case, it also indicates that this person wants to manifest and construct something with you, build a partnership with you. But they want to, they want it to just be you and them, and they don't want anybody else to be there. <laughs> so basically, they're looking for an excuse to hang out with you. We also have here under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme is the Queen of Cups. Your person of interest sees you as somebody who is loving, kind, compassionate, nurturing, someone that has unconditional love. And they are just enamored by this. They are in this bubble. It's like this overall arching theme. This is the overall arching theme. There's this bubble. And that is the theme of that bubble. The love that you have. The love that exists in your heart for others. That is something that they admire. And now they cherish this. Because now they value this. Gemini, I'm really happy because these changes are very positive, guys. This is very positive. Right from the beginning, you have a lot of changes coming through. And it's um, it's an evolution process, right? This, is, this person is evolving. They're changing. But it's going to take some time. However, I can already see, you know, this person has already internally, they have changed a lot. And that's a good thing. All right, let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this. I'm just going to do a quick prayer. All right. We have here, you are ready first card the strongest that we have here within the next few months recovery that is key recovery health is wealth health is happiness guys take care of your health first that comes first you don't have health you got nothing nothing at all so for some of you, this has been kind of a toxic situation in the sense that you just don't know where you're headed. And it's it's been like a stress and a strain and a drain on your body, on your mind. It's been like this for quite some time now. All right. First card is the strongest we have here. You are ready. So a lot has happened, Gemini, over the past few months or even years for you. And could even be weeks, some of you. The thing is here, whatever you have gone through, the angels here are saying that, and these messages are from Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. They're saying that you're ready, you're quite ready to handle and to tackle whatever that is going to come your way, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You will be able to handle this. Here we have, within the next few months, there is going to be recovery. Very good. Emotionally, spiritually, physically, there's going to be recovery. And remember, when we're talking about recovery, it's not just the physical. This is your mind, body, spirit, and your soul. All of that makes you who you are. So take care of all those four things. Here we also have let go. So by recovering, you will be able to recover within the next few months from what has happened and the emotional toll that this has taken on you. But we have here let go. Now letting go here doesn't mean you have to stop loving the person, but it does talk about taking a step back and just 
letting life happen instead of chasing after it. Letting go here means let go of a belief system, a problem, an argument, let go of this person. Because eventually what's going to happen is this individual is going to come back into your life. Eventually they will and eventually things will change and they will be much better because you have the success card with an exclamation mark. Remember, Gemini, it's not very difficult now for you because your person of interest does have the wisdom card. So things have changed. They're not the same anymore. It's not going to be that difficult for you to get this person in line. Okay. So I do see here a very positive, uh, successful outcome. We also have here remain positive. So keep that positive energy flowing. Also, we have compromise. You remember when I was talking about beliefs and rituals and customs and how somebody's brought up and all that kind of stuff. So here we have compromise. The only way this specific connection is going to work out is if there is a compromise. You give a little bit, they give a little bit. You adjust a little, they adjust a little. And then you meet in the middle. So it is important for you to have that sense of compromise and to understand where the other person is coming from. Why do they do the things that they do? What is the reason? Because compromise will work out if you want this connection to work out. This is all going to work out for you, but there has to be compromise. Compromise, typically I've seen 40-60 ratio um, or 4-6. So it's like the least amount you can change, let's just say is 40%. If you were down to 30, then your person's up to 70. And that's just you changing the entire thing. That's you just changing the type of person you are. Don't change the type of person you are because that's your identity. That's who you are. So try to keep it as a better balance, 50-50, if not maximum 40-60. Here we also have listen to your intuition. A lot is going to happen in the next few months, and you're going to have messages coming in from your higher self, from your angels, even from God, and listen to your intuition. That is your soul in your mind, your soul. Your soul is much more older and wiser than you are. So definitely listen to it. Gemini, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. What I wanted to tell you also in terms of this card recovery, do have a look at my website, www.asnoinchia.com. I have something there, a package called the Chakra Checkup Package. I recommend that those of you that are recovering in your state, um, mind, body, spirit, soul, whatever state you're in, you can always place an order and I'll look into your situation. Here, with this type of a situation, what I look at is negative energies in your home, around your aura, and inside of your body, which are your chakra centers. I teach you how to get rid of these things, and then you're just left with positivity because these negative energies are basically weighing you down. And when you have that, it's hard to think positive. It's hard to be positive when you are surrounded by negative energies. So let's just like, boom, 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 get rid of those. And then the path that has been open for you, things that are owed to you karmically, they will come to you, whatever is written in your book of life, that'll happen. But sometimes if you have too many negative energies around you, those things don't even happen. The simplest things that are supposed to happen in your life, not even that happens. So I recommend that some of you, if you feel that you have negative energies around you, or if you feel down in any way, um, do place an order for the chakra checkup package. If some of you are not interested in that one, you can always get the self-help guide. Because you specifically got this card, I recommend to get the holy light package as well as the water wellness package. That also, those two combined are quite powerful. Those are self-help guides. But if you want a personalized reading from me, it is the Chakra Checkup Package. All right. For those of you who are new, also, I have another channel called Asnointia Audio. 
the videos there are absolutely free. I have videos there on spiritual connections, relationship related advice, as well as the most recent one I had uploaded a while ago now that was on negative energies. And hopefully soon, guys, fingers crossed, I am going to be uploading something new. I know it's been a while. I've been really sick and uh, it's just weather and it's just my diet. Now, hopefully I will stay like this forever and ever because I don't like being sick. <laughs> Who does, right? Nobody likes being sick. All right, guys. Thank you all for your support. And let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. Uh, feel free to share your stories. I do find your stories interesting and inspirational. I also read them. And sometimes I create videos based on um, the mass and the majority of the people that are going through the same thing. So many of the videos that I've created on the other channel, on Estoincia Audio, those are actually scenarios from all of you guys. And it's interesting. It doesn't matter from which part of the world you're from. People are going through the same stuff. It's just the way it is. That's love and relationships, right? All right, Gemini. I'll see you guys again. Take care. Stay safe. Bye now.